Welcome to What We Watch After Dark. My name's Nathan, and today we are going over the movie Urban Legend. Director James Blanks. The stars are Jared Leto, Alyssa Witt, and Rebecca Gay Hart. And then a bunch of other people that we'll get into a little bit later. The budget was $14 million. It grossed U.S. and Canada at $38 million. Opening weekend in U.S. and Canada, $10 million. And then gross worldwide, $72 million. So it did pretty good for being a, uh, you know, screen copycat. In some ways, and that was the big, what most uh, critics said. But uh, we're going to get into five interesting facts when we get back, and then I'll tell you my opinion. So let's go ahead and roll them. Last week, we discussed folklore. Today, we get more specific. This is what we call an urban legend. Contemporary folklore passed on as a true story. Something you might have heard about mixing pop rocks and soda. Supposedly, your stomach and your intestines burst. Voila, still alive. Mr. Ross, please. Ah! He's gonna explode! Somebody call 911! <laughs> <laughs> They are the legends we've all heard. Gang members drive around at night with their headlights off. And when someone goes to flash in their high beams to warn them, they kill them. The stories we've all told. A guy and a girl, and they're parked out in the woods. Yeah, the guy steps out, and the girl starts to hear these scratching noises. It's her dead boyfriend hung from a tree. The tales we've all listened to. Isn't there another story about a guy with an axe hiding in a woman's back seat? My mom still checks the back seat before getting into a car. But just because it never happened, doesn't mean it never will. The decapitated body was found in her car. I knew I should have gone to NYU. This girl, she could have been any one of us. What if there is a lunatic on campus? What is he going to do next, huh? <laughs> Maybe put spider eggs in Bubblicious? <laughs> the idea of an urban legend serial killer. It's a stretch. The call's coming from inside the house. Could it be an urban legend? <laughs> I can help you with. I want to know what's going on here. Someone out there is taking all these urban legends and making them reality. Urban legend. Have you heard the one about the microwave? Welcome back. Well, so that was the trailer. The movie um, originally was going to be set in winter. And so everybody had winter clothing kind of stuff. Uh, the killer wore a costume that was like the winter coat, which you'll see. And... They just did away with that because they didn't want to make fake snow outside. And so only the killer kept his costume uh, for those jackets. Uh, but it is, it could be explained why other people have a jacket like that. But anywho, it, there's twists and turns in this movie. So then there's the uh, film co-stars two Hollywood most iconic horror movie slashers. Brad Durf, who was Chucky in Child's Play, and Robert England, who played, of course, Freddy Cougar in A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, the university they used was University of Toronto, the shooting started on 420 in 1998. Daniel Harris, who who previously portrayed Jamie Lloyd, 
it was the fourth Halloween film, Return of Michael Myers. And then she was also in the, Rever the Revenge of Mike Myers, the fifth film. Originally auditioned for the lead role of Natalie, but was instead cast as Tish, her temperamental roommate. The film had has been credited by both cinema and folklore scholars. The first film to redistribute the urgent folklore of the decapitating head within the public. So they even struck up an old one. Um, my thoughts on this movie. Uh, Michael Rosenblum's in this. He's one of my favorite actors. Or at least he is through his YouTube channel. You should check him out. He's a lot of fun. So I'm going to give this movie a 6.75. I mean, yeah, it's a, t it's a total... You totally get the whole scream, I know what you did last summer kind of vibe to it. But it really did bring in urban legends and and, and the folklore with that, which... Uh, I mean, there, you could take classes in college, I did, uh, and about folklore and about urban legends and talking about all that stuff. Uh, for the most part, it was an okay movie. Uh, seemed a little long, even though it was only like an hour and 39. It was something, it's definitely just, one of those movies that came out of the 90s. But I don't think there was really... It was hard to, to intertwine all those urban legends. And I and, and the twist at the end, I won't give it away. But there is a twist. And it, it is in, an interesting choice. Is what I would call it. We've it, it, It's a typical horror ending in some ways. That's my thought on it. I'd like to hear what you guys think of it, if you've seen it, or if you watch it, and then comment. That'd be cool. I also hope that you might think about subscribing to me. It would really help. Um, I really appreciate it. And I want you to remember that I love each and every one of you. And I hope you spread that love to each and every one you know. And maybe one day we will be able to stop the wars.